what is a warm up? What is going on physiologically inside my muscle? Because we, we all just warm up and I don't think anybody actually knows what, what's going on. Yeah. So your muscle tissues, um, they have, uh, they have physical qualities that can be measured almost in like a fluid dynamics terms, like viscosity and hysteresis and all that stuff. And so when you're very cold, a lot of times the, uh, there's kind of a frailty implied there as you're warming up you're sending blood to around the muscle. The muscle itself is literally becoming warmer. And a lot of those kind of tight structures that are, uh, they're proteins that are made of kind of stretchy material, they loosen up a little bit. And that allows you to go through that full range of motion and training and not actually get hurt. And that's from the muscle perspective. You also get some kind of chemical stuff that happens and certain structures fill up with chemicals, certain structures, uh, chemicals go down and that gets you ready to perform super hard work. But that's part of the story. The other part is the nervous system because your nervous system is also getting warmed up. And in technical terms, it's called potentiation. When you just show up to the gym and you, let's say we said, look, okay, we re-engineered your tendons when you were asleep. You're not going to get hurt. It's impossible for you to get hurt. Like a car would have to hit you for you to rip your bicep off. You can just go and just hit the curls right away. You wouldn't get hurt, but it would feel really strange. And you wouldn't get four or five reps close to where you're supposed to be from last week. Cause your nervous system was like, what the hell is going on? I'm supposed to be doing something. So you knew more of the nervous system. A part of that is literally like the actual nervous system itself down to the cellular level is flushing all kinds of metabolites through, the connections are getting stronger, you're uh, sort of doing a little bit of kind of mini rewiring of primary motor cortex to say, oh, 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 we're doing curls, this is how you execute this pattern. Another part is technical, like, oh, this is the technique I'm gonna do. Actually. Because if you just get in the muscle and just do stuff, like imagine if I told you like, hey, here's a ball, just like go, go shoot some hoops, just hit that you know, three-pointer shot, you're like, I need a couple shots to remind my body of what it's like to shoot the basketball. Yeah. Same idea for lifting. You need to remind your body of what a curl motion is. And if you remind it a couple sets in a row, by the time you hit that real working set, that fourth set, your body's like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do, which parts of the muscle I'm going to activate to contract, which other parts of other muscles I'm going to activate to relax and co-contract to make this whole thing happen.